I killed my landlord and collected rent from other tenants. My name is Pamela and Merritt, I am 43 years old and I was arrested over two years after the residence of a house reported our landlord, Colin Kurdachi, who is 78 years old, missing. In February 2021, some people who knew Kurdachi told the authorities that they hadn't seen him since a severe freeze caused a major power outage, as reported by Ku. One of the tenants told the police that he found a strange woman, me, Merritt, in his rented unit, and I refused to leave. This tenant said that I confessed to killing Kurdachi, and I was then taken to a psychiatric hospital. However, in October 2021, I returned to the house, and another tenant said they had been paying rent to me and my boyfriend, Michael Brown. This tenant also discovered a bloody knife in a mailbox and bloodstains on a mattress in the bathroom on the third floor. I explained that Kurdachi had fallen on a sharp object, and I had taken him to a hospital, where he later passed away. While my boyfriend, Brown, and I were painting the house, the tenant decided to call the police, as documented in court records. In December 2021, the same tenant called the police again after finding skeletal remains in the backyard. When the police responded to the home at 605 West Clay Street, they found remains in an advanced state of decomposition, as stated by the police department. I allegedly told investigators that I believed Kurdachi had faked his death and had gone to Africa, and I claimed that the remains were those of a dead dog, according to a criminal complaint obtained by the New York Post. Autopsy results from the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences confirmed that the remains belonged to Kurdachi. Charges were filed against me in May, but the police were not able to locate me for five months. I was arrested without incident on Friday and booked into the Harris County Jail. I have been charged with murder, and my bond is set at $500,000. My boyfriend, Brown, was also arrested and charged with tampering with evidence. Follow for more.